Hello, my friends. Let's get my. <laughs> I'm I'm back to talk to you about uh, these uh, recent events that have taken place with the planet Mars and uh, Comet Sighting Spring. Uh, a lot of my viewers. Um, first of all, I'm not going to call you up by specific name, but you, one of my um, um, subscribers, and also you as well, someone else. I'm so I'm, I'm kind of giving a shout out to you too, without saying your names. Uh, you told me that I missed Comet Side in Spring. A lot of you wanted to hear what I had to say about it. <clears throat> Here's what I have to say about it. I've reviewed all the video footage that I could find including some leaked uh, um, videos that uh, came from um, and I don't <laughs> I mean I don't know that I don't know who the hackers were I found what they had um, they got into some of the um, you know I, I can't I can't legally show some of this stuff yet I'm, I'm still trying to go through the legality of whether or not I'm going to be able to show you the videos uh, I put some of the videos up that uh, I felt like haven't been censored yet on my page uh, concerning the Mars e explosion. Um, <clears throat> what I believe happened is that um, Comet um, Siding Spring, uh, part of that dense comet, or the whole comet itself, or part of the dense comet uh, trail, a uh, piece of that was dense material, highly um, what I consider to be uh, of a... Of a uh, a highly reactive atomic nature um, and uh, so what I mean is that it's dense material um, a piece of it the size of a small island uh, if it hits a planet um, it's so dense that it goes all the way down inside of the planet and uh, could you know cause an atomic explosion something similar to what we've seen happening with Mars uh, I just want to explain to you something. Uh, all of you, my friends, mean a whole lot to me. All of your comments have meant a whole lot to me. I want to thank you for that. I want to tell you how I'm sick and tired of NASA I am. I've been doing a lot. I mean, I've even had just, you know, a lot of times where I, I try to do these videos for you and I ended up cursing. I haven't released those videos. So I'm, I may show you me melting down about the situation or not. I'm not I, haven't, I haven't decided it yet or not if I'm going to release those videos. But I will tell you. Um, NASA is lying to the world once again and being a cover up organization and nothing against you astronauts and you awesome people that I idolized as a kid that don't even know what your uh, secret uh, realms of your organization is doing but um, that's not a whole lot of you because you know that uh, you all edit out all the the good stuff the rated R stuff that's going on on Mars and you show us the G rated a computer generated version that you uh, you know piece back together from what you see on those real time satellites and um, Mars rover cameras that can uh, see uh, something the size of an ant uh, what it's chewing in its mouth so we're really angry about this and uh, in this video I'm basically telling you that from the video that I put up on my page uh, you can watch and see that as uh, that dense material whether the whole comet uh, sighting crashed into Mars or not I'm not sure there's some professors claiming that the whole comet um, sighting spring crashed into the middle of Mars uh, I don't know if that's true or not to me I kinda feel that just a piece of it might have done it um, I, you know I still can't be a hundred percent sure until I get my hands on some more hopefully I hope the hackers I hope the hackers of the world crack you wide open, NASA. You understand me? And put everything you've been hiding right to, to the fingertips of every single American citizen and every other human being that exists uh, across the whole world. And blow you wide open, uh, NASA. Uh, you're a bunch of criminals. You've become a criminal organization that's hiding s stuff from the public that needs to be taught. First of all, let me explain your, you know, your theology of not telling people that there's a coming disaster you know even in schools they teach tornado drills how to get underneath your desk when a tornado is coming and so what you've done the equivalents is tell you know the kids in school to go out and shoot basketball and there's a tornado coming instead of have them do the drill 
of uh, protecting themselves and be able to make peace uh, with their, you know, their spirit or their God, knowing good and well that their lives may be at risk. What I got to say here, and now real short and sweet, is what I, what I believe is happening with Mars. Uh, Mars got rocked. You understand what I'm telling you? Mars got smashed. I don't believe there's any more program on Mars. If there are space aliens living in, in subterranean levels of Mars, they got crushed in like a tin can and burned. Okay? I'm just telling you. And, and they're, again, they're in the Mars video. You do see as the comet is approaching it and p pieces of the comet most likely hit Mars, uh, like a magnetic, um, you know, sort of destruction came out of nowhere and hit Mars so hard that you literally see a crack in Mars from the upper top corner of Mars all the way down into the lower right corner of Mars that literally opens up and closes right in front of your face right on the video and, and no one's talking about it that's one part of it the other part is the explosion uh, that looked to be uh, atomic to the point where there was um, atomic there was displacement of elements uh, at an atomic level out into dead space and so it wasn't flares you geniuses that happened why don't you just tell people the truth for once and after that happened, see just before that, if you look off to the right of the screen, there's a small couple of little pinhead size looking dots. One of them looks like a cloud at the lower um, part of the uh, two objects. And the upper object looks like a, a solid object that's uh, kind of flying away from the middle of Mars uh, out to the right. And so the one at the top is a UFO. The one at the bottom is a plasma ball, real small, about the size of a pin. Then you see an explosion of probably look in the video it looks around the size of a, a 50 cent you know or a quarter piece uh, dollar and to show you the comparisons and, and what some people don't know how to interpret the difference between the plasma ball the UFO and uh, the the uh, you know first atomic explosion that takes place right in the center of Mars and see in the uncutaway video uh, that happened before it got censored and if you look on my page of uh, my friends you will see at the bottom of the screen uh, and, and uh, um, um, rather you will see at the bottom of the planet Mars the whole entire planet uh, has what is called a um, interplanetary core uh, molten core magma discharge in other words some of its molten insides came out the bottom of that planet and went out into space okay that is why they cut that camera off right there to stop you from seeing that hot stuff get solidified and turned into a floating mountain out in deep cold space because that's what happens to it when something like that takes place don't let anybody tell you a lie okay that's the reason why they cut the camera off okay because there's big problems at Mars and so yeah, a lot of stuff happened. A whole big bunch, possibly, you know, a ton, a couple hundred, you know, a, a, th a couple thousand to a couple hundred thousand megatons of <coughs> Martian material, uh, and 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 amongst um, viruses, microbes, and God knows stuff that's living that we don't even know what it is could be part of that stuff. Uh, poisonous, toxic, extraterrestrial Martian elements. Okay and all these different things that got exploded out in the deep space and Mars and the, the the space that exists between Mars and Earth as they're spinning on their orbits kind of like um, you know however far they are away from each other how far and how long do you think it's going to take for that stuff to get and reach our, orbitary, um, our orbital plane in other words the space that we're floating through is the planet Earth and humans on it? Us. How long do you think it's going to take for us to go spinning through all that Martian debris? That's what I want to ask NASA. You geniuses want to tell us what happens before you said it's going to take four or five weeks or a month to analyze it? Well, we could all be dead by then, you genius idiots. We're sick and tired of you, NASA. You all need to be chased through the streets with, with hay forks and rod forks. You know, I mean... I can't stand what you've been doing, hiding and concealing the truth from the public. It's really sick what you've done.
to, to you my friends we may be facing some dangerous things coming and this might be it may be end up I mean <laughs> I, I don't say that I'm right on anything this stuff that I'm telling you is not based on my visions about what's happening with Mars it's based on what I interpret happening from what I've seen in a video okay so it's a, it's 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 fairly realistic this time around I have had some visions about what what's going on with Mars but I haven't went into detail nor have I went in from the angle this time I'm telling you that you should understand that we may be facing a greater danger this time than we were with Comet Ison because that explosion that took place on Mars last time with all the blood rain and all the microorganisms that they used see the government the reason why they're putting all that poison and chemtrails in the air is because they knew there were over one million something different type of extraterrestrial viruses and and stuff up there that they were using scientists to try to uh, you know make that stuff uh, less toxic and kill those microbes in the outer atmosphere before it rained down and killed more than just a couple million birds what happened last time Okay, so it's a pretty serious business when you got this much, you know, extraterrestrial Martian dust and God knows what else floating around out there. And it could be a big old mountainous looking bunch of molten lava that solidified and turned into a big Martian space mountain for all we know. So we got to look out for ourselves, my friends, and start rebelling against organizations that are nothing but cover up organizations that are mishandling and misusing billions worth of tax dollars to tell people that it's okay when it's clearly not now I believe that's what happened now if it turns out that everything NASA says is true in the fairy tale that all the stuff on NASA uh, um, you know ownership all the uh, the nuclear rover and all the different uh, up close cameras that are okay on NASA I dare you NASA to show us some real live footage that's not from 10 years ago that you got stored in some database show us some live footage that is live from Mars from all your you know satellites and your so-called videos are supposed to be okay now okay I believe all that stuff was probably obliterated I don't think you have any more contact with any of it uh, I think all your hundreds of thousands of dollars that you had on your uh, space program and all your alien stuff that you've been doing out there so-called stuff you've been looking for and doing digging through those pyramids and all the stuff that you've been supposedly doing went up in smoke NASA that's what I believe happened and so it's probably better off anyhow because all those pyramids that people that are looking into space aliens and don't know anything about history the only thing that those pyramids in any type of gods associated with pyramids in Egypt and Mars and all those different places with all those uh, um, slave driving gods did to their people was um, expose them to disorderly dysfunctional um, sexual um, harassment and molestation as, as, as also even among their own um, you know so-called uh, king lines and their children where Set and horse couldn't stop raping each other and 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 uh, ejaculate, ejaculating in each other's food long enough to get along those two, and Skemet was raped by all of her uncles, uh, uh, you know, and and cousins and everything else until she turned into a monster. So I'm going to tell you people something: don't look for gods and all these things that are out there. That all they've done is screw people over through the ages and make uh, slave-minded puppets of every single thing that they ever touched. There's nothing any good to go dig up and about the pyramids, except leaving it buried, bulldozed, and nuclear bombed into oblivion. Remember, my friends, freedom is a god. Worship that god instead of those idiots that would do nothing except make you a bunch of slaves. There's nothing on Mars to look for. If you want to take some of those billions of dollars away from Mars, and take some of these homeless people off the streets and let them have a home to live in or help people pay their rent you bunch of geniuses would be so grateful for you tomorrow uh, would be so grateful to you tomorrow look for my next video next time my friends where I speak in where I speak directly and uncut and unscripted about all these different issues dealing with NASA Mars and space exploration uh, space exploration and these so-called gods that they're looking for and spending all our money wasting time out there when we need to be taking care of each other here on earth 
stay safe my friends is all za za and all and that means uh the beginning <coughs> and uh peace and the spirit the great spirit and uh creation and the great spirit of freedom so freedom is a god my friends enjoy it and uh don't be looking for stuff to be making stuff better that only made stuff worse in the past and know what the history is talk to you later my friends and see you again on my channel